Executive Governor of Benue State, Chief Dr. Samuel Otom, who is uh, represented here by the Venerable Professor Steve Uba, the President of MUTA, with members of the Executive Committee, the President General of uh, NZOTIV, all the way from um, Nigeria, the Chairman of this session, Professor Gire, our distinguished Senator James, um, who's leading the Black Caucus in the uh, state of Georgia uh, Parliament, and has given us a very beautiful speech uh, this morning. Uh, His Excellency, our father, and our former governor, General Quera, and his dear wife, our mommy, welcome you, sir. Representative of Senator uh, George Akume, Professor Gerard Gyo, and distinguished members of um, the audience. Good morning once again. I'm here to represent um, His Excellency Right Honorable Gabriel Towa Suswam, the immediate past governor of Benue State, who is unavoidably absent and who has asked me to be here and to deliver a good message to this 23rd convention of the Mutual Union or TIV in America. I therefore have the honor and the privilege to so do. I am delighted to be part of this year's annual convention of the Mutual Union or TIV in America, MUTA, which is holding today in the great city of Atlanta. It is gratifying that MUTA has continued to forge ahead in spite of the numerous challenges as an organization committed to the advancement of active social, cultural, and economic values and interests, as well as the promotion of just, fair, and equitable social relations among the different strata of the TIV society, both at home and in the diaspora. Over the years, I have identified with MUTA in various ways. While in office as executive governor of our state, our administration participated in all your annual conventions throughout the period I presided over the affairs of our state. I either attended your conventions personally or through delegation of senior government officials. We also supported motor programs and initiatives like the annual health fair because of its contributions in addressing the health needs of our people. Why I found most of your members very genuinely committed to the promotion of your goals and objectives, I must state most unequivocally that there are a few members who have given MUTA a bad name because of their partisanship in the politics of Benue State and in their overall conduct in their relationship with fellow two brothers and sisters, both at home and the diaspora. Since our dear country, Nigeria, is in the era of change, Muta must also imbibe the change mantra by purging itself of this segment of its membership, whose individual comments, conduct, and activities tend to create the impression that they represent the official position of Muta why, in actual fact, they represent themselves. My dear brothers and sisters, since leaving office on May 29, 2015, after the expiration of our tenure of office, as prescribed by the Constitution, there has been deliberate effort by some people to paint black my person, family, and administration that I presided over. Some of the criticisms, and in some cases, outright insults mostly on the social media and other discussion groups border on gross ignorance of the internal dynamics of our political system, the processes and extant laws which guided our decisions, policies, and conduct in office. I have taken my strides, all those negative comments on my person and family, as a necessary price one has to pay for holding public office in Nigeria. 
as stated in several fora, I have forgiven all those who wronged me while I presided over the affairs of Bono State and since leaving office. In the same spirit of forgiveness, therefore, I request all those that I have offended in the course of my desires, my duties, to forgive me. We can only make meaningful progress as a people if we truly reconcile with one another. Which process must begin with the forgiveness of those who offend us? I, however, find it extremely uncharitable, unfair, and unjust. The deliberate effort by some people to change the record of activities and achievements. Like every human endeavor, our administration had our low points, but we definitely had several high points, which should be acknowledged for the benefit of history and posterity. Although I am clearly a victim of cheap political blackmail and the poor hidden syndrome that has unfortunately settled as part of our political culture, I have refused to join the crowd, preferring to be one of the few people who have taken it upon themselves not to pull down our fellow tea brothers in public office. It is for this safe assigned patriotic responsibility that I have refused to join issues with the administration of my successor in office, His Excellency Chief Dr. Samuel Otom, on some of his official pronouncements as they concern the tenure of administration. Our intention is to enable Governor Otom to proceed with minimum distractions so that discharging his constitutional responsibilities to our people. I wish, however, to state very clearly that this posture should not be misconstrued for any form of guilt, weakness, or lack of what to say. Mr. President, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, you may be informed that I actively supported the effort of my predecessor in office, Senator Dr. George Akume, to contest the post of Senate President of our country, even though we are from different political parties. I did so as part of my patriotic commitment to the advancement of chief political interests within Nigerian political structure. It is in the same vein that I voluntarily withdrew the petition I earlier filed against Senator Barnabas Gamade at the Bernard State National Assembly Election Petitions Tribunal, even when I had reasonable legal grounds to proceed with the case to a successful end. I filed the petition in the first instance in order to exercise my democratic rights, and secondly, to document the irregularities that attended the election for posterity. My discontinuation of the petition against Senator Gamade was intended to allow him the stability to function in the Senate without any distraction from the tribunal, so as to hopefully achieve the much he could for our people. This is my own modest contribution to enhancing unity, which is the theme of this year's National Convention of uh, motor. So with these few remarks, Mr. President, I want to thank you uh, most sincerely for inviting me to this convention and for the opportunity to give a good message and I therefore wish you all successful deliberations during this 23rd annual convention of your organization. Thank you and may God bless you. <laughs>